would you say if I was to tell you the sports media is getting tired of LeBron James? That they're starting to open up their eyes. You don't believe me? Here's some proof. Check this out. I think you might disagree. I don't think the roster's that bad. It's not. The roster, the you part. got Anthony Davis, who's playing some of the best ball of his career, and those role players are good role so players. That's, so let me – I'll, I'll go quickly on this because mm -hmm. I'm actually more interested in the other angle of this. Uh, so the roster isn't that bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. AD is playing as well as he right. ever has. LeBron's been healthy. So why are they so bad? So, so the very same people that – Hyped up LeBron James, worship the ground LeBron James walk on, they starting to backtrack on their story. This is for two reasons. They almost done with LeBron James. The hype train is over. They realize that we failed to make this guy the GOAT because he didn't win enough. All right? They know that he cannot win people over to become the GOAT because he got too many L's on his resume. He failed in too many big moments, right? And they know this big glaring thing that with four championships, that's not enough to be called the GOAT in modern NBA history. They know that he has to win because he got six finals losses and he has to make up for that somehow. And they can't keep giving this man a pass. Listen to what Rob Parker said. Birthright, right up. When Jordan was in Washington, was there all this talk about we got to get him somebody so he can win? You play it out. It, when Kobe's right. last year, it, was it all that talk? The last six years in Kobe, Chris. I mean, let's think about right. it, whatever they did. What did they not make it, Rob G? The last five or six years of Kobe's career, Chris. Kobe wasn't in the playoffs the last five years. That's what I'm saying. And again, look, I would love to see LeBron get a team that could compete for a championship. I'm just saying every single year, everybody's hand-wringing over what should his team do. I don't – I've never seen it. There's staff. Is everybody yelling about the, the Warriors got to do something? I just don't – I don't get it. I don't – Stop the cap. You're part of the problem. Brainwashing people and the media did their hype job. You created this problem. Now you got to live with it. I don't get it. It's, I guess is, is it because we know LeBron needs six or, you know, yes, wants to get the six? There, is there that you go. It? You is just said it about? because it's, uh, it's about LeBron and people feel like, well, he can't waste away his last few years because people know deep down that if he can't even get to the six, Chris, even though he's lost all those other championships, they know without having six, he don't have a real case. Boom, because winning comes first. Stats are great. But you have to have the stats and the wins to back them up. And LeBron is lacking in that field. Like, they they need the six so to be able to say, well, he won as many as him. He went to m many more. He's the all-time leading scorer. You know, like, you got to compile yeah. this other stuff. He won the first in-season tournament. He did this. He did that. But if LeBron is stuck on four, Chris, right, with six losses or whatever it is, then it, what, what is your argument? What, what is mean, your I, argument? I, you know I think Jordan is the GOAT. Now, he's damn near almost spot on correct about what he's saying. For the simple fact that he failed. Okay? Longevity is cool. Right? But longevity is useless if you cannot win. Okay? Longevity is useless if you're playing at a high level being on a title contending team, and you can't win anymore. All you're doing is just ranking up numbers and stats. And a glaring thing, you never notice people sit there and say, Kobe need more help to win the championship. He got to catch six. He got to get up to Mike. You never say people, yo, Mike is on the Washington Wizards. How much help do he need to win an NBA championship? They let the man just play basketball, right? That's the glaring difference. LeBron James is a puppet by the media. He's an advertising tool by the media. And his pull is starting to run out. Well, it was fun. Not anymore, though, is it? Is it? No, not right now. No, it's not fun anymore. Not even a little bit. 
they're going to gravitate towards another superstar. And that another superstar is going to be compared to Michael Jordan. And we're going to be asking the question, can that other superstar surpass Michael Jordan? That's going to be the next thing that the media starts talking about. And you got people like me that's been telling you the truth. Right? All these excuses. All these narrative changing. Changing the rules of, and criteria of how you rate superstars. All to benefit LeBron James. Putting down other superstars. All to prompt up LeBron James. All right? This is a generation where people are trying to even black out Kobe Bryant. You got just about every other superstar, right, getting downgraded, right? Or you could mention another superstar from today or the past generation, and you could say, hey, this guy is better than that guy, except for one, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is the only guy left standing that nobody could surpass yet. In 2024. Let that sink in. It could be 2034. 2044. 2054. And you could come back to this video and say, damn. We still ain't got somebody to be viewed as better than Michael Jordan. That may still take place. Nigga, please. Because it's been taking place for generations now already. The Patrick Ewans, the Dominique Wilkins, the Oscar Robinsons, the Walt Chamberlains, the Kareems. You all downgrade all the ex-champions of the past. I know some of those guys didn't want championships I just mentioned. But my point is, you got a replacement for all those guys. But you don't got a replacement for Mike. Why is that? It's because in modern NBA history, he's still got the best resume in basketball. He's still the most dominant basketball player in NBA history for modern NBA. Even from the past. Outside of Walt Chamberlain who put up big numbers, but Walt Chamberlain couldn't win like Mike. LeBron James put up good stats, but LeBron can't win like Mike. Yeah, you clock into work every day, but you drop the ball. You've been going to high school way too long and didn't graduate. You still stuck in college while everybody else got the degree. That's what longevity is in sports if you can't keep winning. Nigga, please. And it's glad that the media opened their eyes and realized the hype job that is LeBron James. He's by far one of the most overrated superstars in NBA history, period. And the media made him that way. And he made himself that way by keep propping himself up. Instead of just going out there proving people wrong and playing basketball and winning NBA championships. I digress. Relax, drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Sports out. Peace.